Hello, boys. Welcome back. It's time to attack the derelict building. I know. Which is blatantly not derelict. Wow, this guy's new sniper rifle with its initiative bonus means that he always gets to shoot first. You got it. You got it. When they come around the corner, moving. Shoot. Wow, that's nice. What the hell? He threw a knife at me? Understood. Oh, God. Mm. I didn't even know that they could do that. Man, these thugs are actually doing okay. Oui, bien sûr. Definitely needed to fix that wound. Yes, boss. Fall back. No, you're dying on your first mission, man. Kill him. These guys are about to get lost rights to the next planet. Assholes. Just, just letting everyone know that charging in like this while I have lost rights off cooldown is a very bad idea. Kill him. It almost makes you wonder what it would be like to play a boss who doesn't have such an insane move. Delay your turn. Ashes to ashes. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Seriously? Wow, she actually has. The 77% chance to hit is the highest I've ever seen her have a chance to hit. Like, ever. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen her land all three shots. I have to use my doctor to heal him. Oh! What the hell? He fell down! Then he got back up! Then he fell down again! This game. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing for a game of you know. I was gonna say like a game of this quality, but it, that feels like totally the wrong thing to say. I'm on it, boy. So much effort has gone into the art and the setting and the scenery. So much effort has gone into all of those things. It's then, you know, it's just amusing oh, yeah. to watch how bad some of the gameplay stuff is. Oh. Hi guys. <laughs> there could be no other end. Yes. For the finest pallets. Oh, mission complete. Got it. I didn't even know I completed a mission, but apparently I just completed a mission.
All right, so I'm gonna slowly build this up into a glorious booze-producing monster. Interestingly, you don't really need to heighten security on massive buildings because you actually get a lot of guards. Okay, let's start with quality and production. Apparently I have a load of poison in my inventory. Why is that place producing poison? Wait, this place can produce top shelf? Why isn't it producing top shelf? Okay, I'm learning some things here. So I actually have a load of places producing alcohol that's actually not as good as it should be. Okay, well, I'm glad we fixed that, not that it really mattered. Premium. Wait a minute, so I've only got four places that want booze? Am I am I losing the plot here? I guess that's in this area. Okay, so I'm producing ten, consuming none of this. I'm not producing any of this particular of uh, premium. Hmm. Rack is about the best I can do for these guys. Although I am already using some, somewhere. Oh, okay. It's it's updating these dynamically. That's about the best I can do for now. Oh <coughs> wow! This place can store a thousand barrels. That's amazing. This place is in a different neighborhood. Okay. So this is a different this is a different neighborhood.
No, this is everything everywhere. I can't only have four businesses that want alcohol. That doesn't make any sense. Like, casinos can use alcohol, from my understanding. Weekly consumption sill swill. Preferred type. Okay, so it is it is consuming booze. I'm so confused. So these places are using alcohol. The preferred kind is swill. So why are only... See, this is the thing about this game, is like... There's a depth here, and yet... A lot of it doesn't make sense. Why are only some businesses listed here? Oh, it's listed by neighborhood. God, why am I um, just an idiot? So in this neighborhood, a particular neighborhood uses one kind of booze. Which you set for the whole neighborhood. Okay. Now I get it. And it just goes to show how little it matters as well. So if I want to get through my swill, I need to uh, right, open up more speakeasies in this dump. See you have made a mistake. <laughs> Sniper rifles are amazing. I have not yet fully healed from the previous fight. I don't think it matters, but just saying. Alright. Alright. Oh, 98% chance. Go for it. So I guess the rifle is actually pretty solid. Well, that caused him to waste his turn. Oh, you have entered the danger zone! Except that she missed every shot. for boom. Hmm, that area is like, I don't know, broken or something. Okay. I do like the fact that it's a two action point weapon, but you can still overwatch with it.
Oh. stopped just in time. Oh, oh, got me! There could be no other end. Cho Chap Machine Gun. Is it French? I don't know if it's French or not, but it looks French. I think that's French. Because uh, the French copy no one and no one copies the French <laughs> when it comes to guns. <laughs> but I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Wonderful. Wonderful. May my racket forever grow. How's my neighborhood looking? Wow, it's starting to look beautiful. I spent all that money on security when I could have uh, could have been using it to just buy more rackets. I'm not sure if I have enough money now to uh, take this building. Although it's only a level 2 building. Let's go over here and do this mission. Okay. Let's take a little break. As a doctor, Rocco Merzlusi is professionally worried about how much Claude Bernard drinks. So everyone's loyalty is going up. I was going to teleport over here, but uh, it seems like I couldn't. And whatever. Oh, we've made some money, so that's good. Oh, this is why I couldn't teleport over here. It got no chance. Oh, you this got it, boss. Because there's enemies over here. Oh. Ashes to ashes. Yeah, it's really not necessary to use that to kill one guy. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hi. Say hello to my little friend. There could be no other end. Moving. Okay. Citizen. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on in, citizen. Let's talk. Is this the guy that stole your wallet? <laughs> Do you really want to die over this? No. Nope. Look at me. I'm such a humanitarian. <laughs> it's just a random mission! Like... If the game was slower, if the pace was slower, and you had time to just wander around and explore, then these would be quite cool. Like, this is a cool idea. It's just that you would never do this because you're just so busy doing everything else. As you wish. Mm -hmm.
Maple merchants from Canada. What do I get for being your errand boy? Sounds good to me. No problem. I'll handle it. For the lols. Because I'm a humanitarian. Do you know what? I should have known that this guy was in my neighborhood because he kept on declaring war on me. And I was like, why is this guy always declaring war on me? And the answer is because he's in the neighborhood. And he doesn't like my presence. <laughs> Wiggle. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Has she wet herself? <laughs> it looks like she's wet herself. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, the underpants are soiled. <laughs> Am I a bad person for laughing at this? Oh, oops. <laughs> I shot the wrong person. <laughs> well, if she didn't have a, a bladder malfunction before, she's definitely got one now. We just we just stole the cantina music, don't tell anybody. Hey, you got it, boss. Of course. Oh, lead. I'm on it. These are not the tactically best moves in the universe here, but you know, I'm not really. I'm not really expecting any issues. <laughs> oh. What the hell just happened there? There could be. Hey, buddy. Can I have your racket, please? Hey, you got, got it, boss. boss. Two dudes. You'd think that they would just surrender. You got it, boss. You would think that when you're outnumbered this badly, you would just surrender. As you wish. You got it. I Overwatch just to waste the turn because there seems you seems like you have to do something. Of course. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Kill him. Moving in. <laughs> Someone call a dog. Somebody call a timeout. Come into the corridor of death. There could 
must be no other end. God damn. Sure, I love a non aggression pact. Uh, do I actually have any rack? Give me some time to think about it. But I think about it, I mean, give me some time to just take your other thing. Get out of my town, get out of my town. Hey, Don't you, it. get out of my town. Oh. Oof. You seem to start in very random places. I mean, like, I've started this fight right in the middle of this establishment. Okay, the last dude is in the office over there. I'm there. I'm there. Come through the door at your peril. I'm on it. Maria the Quest Roguez. Or whatever her name is. Rodriguez. Patient man. I'll wait. Thank guy. Thank you guys. <clears throat> sure thing. You know, this guy does not have a lot of HP to, for this to actually be that meaningful. Fire a single shot at every enemy in range, or until you run out of ammo, would be amazing with a sniper rifle. Now that I think about it. Okay. Move down the street here. I want to see what this building is in the corner. just thugs. Okay, well that explains why this guy was constantly, constantly declaring war on me. I also find it um, interesting that these police are uh, just lurking around everywhere. Okay, clear derelict building of thugs. Okay, simple. So, I guess next time what we'll do is we'll take this, and this, and this, and this. Just carry on my Wrecking Ball campaign to own this neighborhood in its entirety forever. And apparently no matter how many speakeasies I open, I continue to have an endless supply of swill. 
I have one place making top shelf somewhere. But I look forward to turning this brewery into the whiskey producing center of the universe. Yeah, and that is that is it for now. I don't know what I would do to fix this game, but well, there's a lot of things I would do with the combat. <laughs> there's the the uh, the combat and the items and the weapons and everything, like everything to do with the combat, um, as in the fights when they actually happen. I would change. There's there's so much I would change. At least to balance out the abilities and things like that. The management side of things. Man, I just don't even know where you'd go from here. I don't even know where you would go from here. Investing into your businesses is too expensive for it to make sense, ever. So there is that. I mean, the fact that when you just go ahead and just kill a crime boss, you just get everything that belongs to them is pretty insane. You got three crime bosses here that are all right next to each other. Ah, my face has disappeared off of South Loop for some reason. My icon was there previously. It does still say that I own the place. I seem to have actually solid shares in a few places because I knocked off the people that were involved in them. Maybe once I'm done owning South Loop, if I pour investment into it, it will become more valuable area. Who knows? I don't really understand the economic side of the game, but it, it, the game almost feels like two games. There's a combat game going on, and then there's the economic side of it. And unfortunately, the combat game is just... It's too much, it's way more important than the economic game. If you couldn't go around with your party of heroes and do everything with them, if you had to hire groups, like the AI does, if you had to hire attacks and send them off and maybe they work and maybe they don't work, and maybe those attacks are very expensive to buy, then the whole economic side of the game would make sense. And your dudes would just be there to do quests. If these if your if your party was only available for quests, um defending buildings or defending your safe house and the only way to attack enemy and for attacking the enemies, um safe house then that would bring the balance in order and then what you'd do is you would have it so that you'd have to send out you'd have to buy and send out groups of gangsters to actually take over enemy buildings and once you've taken over so many of someone's rackets or once they have like you know very few rackets remaining the option to attack their safe house would become available and you could use a a party plus your main your hero characters for that purpose something along those lines as it stands you can use your main party for everything and that's pretty ridiculous and there's almost no risk to it because the main character is incredibly tough and powerful
But hey, I think it's too late in the game to change the get the design of this game. And that's unfortunate. But yeah, if you're if you're a main part the more I think about this idea, the more I think it's a good idea. That your main party is available in your safe house. And you know, they you assign your mobsters to do various things in your safe house or in various buildings, whatever. You send out and they're available for uh, you know, purchasing stuff and doing quests. But in order to attack an enemy racket, you would actually have to put together a group of gangsters with weapons and whatever, pay for it, outfit them, send them to attack. That would just be resolved automatically. And then if you win, then that's great. You get there. You get the other guy's racket. Or you could also maybe make offers to buy their rackets out or whatever. And when a gangster has, uh, sorry, when a kingpin or whatever has too few rackets, their safe house opens up for attack. I don't even think I have that much in storage. And then, uh, and then your your main party gets involved. Rack is this one. I do, in fact, have enough rack in storage. Okay, well, those are my thoughts. I think this game is fixable, but they need to do something about the ultimate hero god party that just goes around destroying everything. I think it's okay to use the ultimate hero god party in certain situations, like safe, safe hold. Uh... Safe house defenses, safe house attacks, and all story missions. But in order to undermine someone's empire, you should have to hire and field gangs, which is what the AI does. I think players should have to do that as well. And not just use their, their almighty party to just go around and do everything. It would also make the thug buildings a bit less, you know, easy to occupy. Since you'd have to hire a gang and send them out to clean out the clean out the building, and you might not necessarily win in the auto resolver. That would make this game much more long haul and much more strategic and economic. Uh, as it stands, just fire up the teleporters and start cleaning everything out. Well, anyway, that's enough thoughts from me from now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.